Hello all Vols players, this is Winston Smith and today I will show you how do you get fuel for your spaceship. If we want to use this spaceship to go for a space station or to the moon, we will need fuel. So how do you get that? Since this is a common issue, I decided to do a fuel tutorial on how do you get fuel for your spaceship and how do you get it in there and all the stuff. So first of all oil is found under the surface mostly. The black stuff which is on the surface is sludge, not oil. Okay, Oil does look like that. If you jump in you won't get poisoned. That's an indicator that it's not sludge, so it's oil. It looks like a liquid but is it, it's not a liquid. You can just walk in here and as you see there's no oxygen bubbles or whatever. Uh, yeah, it looks like a liquid, but it is not a liquid, in fact, in this version of Volts. So, when you found this crude oil, you will need empty liquid canisters and a portable oil extractor. So, we're gonna take out the extractor and the empty liquid canisters. This extractor will put the oil into the canisters. Okay, so this is uh, a little buggy. Uh, if you try it like that, just uh, click the source block, like described in the wiki, it won't work. It's just buggy. Okay, so you need uh, a solid ground to harvest the oil. Oil if it's uh, flowing farther then just place some cobblestones so it's like floating on the cobblestone and then take the portable oil extractor and try around on the cobblestone where it now here it's actually working it's not very fast at the moment but the green LED tells you that it actually does work okay here it does nothing so again, you have to try around uh, on this. Here is a good spot. Here is an excellent spot. As you can see, it's filling very fast. Okay, it's it, the trick is to get an edge of a floating block, and behind that a solid block. That's the trick. See, it's filling up really fast, really, really fast. So we made one full canister in a couple of seconds. If you do it over here and over here, it will never get anything or just very less oil. And this is the exact perfect spot, this triangle here of floating oil and a solid block behind it. See? Green LED is uh, blinking and we filled up successfully another block of oil. So, we have three filled oil canisters now. What do we do? We need a refinery which makes filled oil canister to filled fuel canister. Okay? So, uh, the refinery also is sometimes buggy when I remember that right. So, therefore, I have batteries. But also, we have an energy cube just try it out. Okay, you place down the energy cube for the energy universal cable, then we have the refinery. Problem. It's not connecting. Okay, on the top it is connecting, but oh, no oil. Sometimes it says no energy. In this case you just put a battery in here. A filled battery. Okay. It is also buggy. This can happen that it tells us uh, it wants energy, but we will try it without a battery. So you have the filled oil canister put the filled oil canister in the left side so refine it is ready it is supplying this time it's good that's quite good okay there we have and then you can take the empty canister and put it on the right hand side well again we put the oil on the left side and you can see increasing this status okay we have some oil in the refinery then we press refine See, it's idling. That's what I'm talking about. It's just idling. 
I have no clue why that is. Okay, the we put in the battery. Now you see, that's a bug. It's not telling us it has no electricity, but as soon as you put in the batteries there, it will refine oil for us. So, yeah, I told you, it's on the way to a successfully fueled spaceship, there are a lot of bugs. <laughs> okay, let's wait for the uh, fuel. It's taking, I don't know, all in all a minute for one canister. Uh, remember that you have to change the batteries after every canister, I think. Because it uses more than 500, yes, it uses more than 500 kilojoules, so it won't successfully refine another one. For every canister you need one charged battery, or in this case, we already have refined everything. So, the filled fuel canister you can take out now. Yay! We have a filled fuel canister. This is really a rare item in vaults. Okay, this is really rare. So, okay, we've successfully made a filled fuel canister. So, we go to our spaceship. This is what it should look like. The launcher platform, the spaceship. And here we have the fuel loader. Let's just see if we have another one. Yeah, just for you to see how it's, it's how it is set up, right? Um, remove it. If you place it down, and in the front it's something like this gray thing. It's placed correctly. Okay, you need this. You need to have this thing. This must be connected with the launch pads. It also needs power, but this thing normally works without batteries. Okay, then we have the filled fuel canister and put it on the left upper side here. Not enough power. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> uh, ignore that and then press load fuel. See it said not enough power but it has power and actually it's filling. To check that right click the rocket but do not press spacebar okay that's the uh, launch. So press minus and you will see the fuel level is increasing. For one flight you only need 20% but normally you should do 100% because you will get your fuel back which is not used. Okay, when this is 100% you have used one fuel canister and you can fly I think five times from Earth to Moon or Earth to Space Station or other way around, whatever you want. Okay, to leave the rocket just right click. Well, yeah, that's it. So, uh, when the fuel successfully got into the spaceship, you are ready to go. Then you can press space, but we don't do that because uh, I don't think I have oxygen here or whatever. Well, I think we will just do it, just for the thrill, for the end of the video, to prove you guys we made uh, crude oil into fuel, which is in the rocket, which actually really enables us to launch the spaceship into space. 100% full, yeah, we are ready to go. And, oh, I don't have a parachute. Um <laughs> Okay, let's just get a parachute from GD mode. You d you need the those and not the from the power armor. That's important. Uh I cannot equip that at the moment. Now I can. Here the parachute parachute has to be. And we get some oxygen gear. Oxygen mask and some tanks. So we're ready to go. Okay. We are on countdown 70, 15, whatever. Let's look at it from the inside. No. <laughs> oh, this is rumbling, this is rumbling, this is rumbling. Okay. 
Well, guys.